Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your March 2022 uh, reading. We're going to see what pops up. I have the Celtic cross here. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Won't resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces. I do appreciate it. If you want a reading, link is in the description box below. The link to my Etsy shop is there. So your overall energy for this month, Pisces, is the Queen of Cups, is your energy. Okay, so we're going to see what's going on with this. Now the Queen of Cups talks about connecting with your heart space. Uh, you're in your element, I'm hearing, connecting with your intuition here. You're in your, you're quite in your feels. Happy birthday, by the way, for those Pisces who have birthdays in March. So let's see what's up with um, Pisces here with the Queen of Cups. So we have the Ace of Wands, clarifying the Queen of Cups, the Five of Swords. Let's get another one. Mm, and the Five of Moons, which are the Five of Cups here. So you could be doing some reminiscing about a past love relationship here. You also have to be careful. If people from the past are coming back, Pisces, I would not trust them. That's what I'm getting from the Five of Swords here. So be careful about your choices surrounding past lovers. You do want to move forward in love. I get this urge to... This, this passion because you're in your feelings, right? So be just be mindful of your choice because of that feeling, because of this wanting to push forward here. Let me get a kipper. Stale action. Yeah, see? Message. What I'm getting with the Five of Swords also, I just got st stale action. And I feel that... Some of you may feel like your love life has been quote unquote stale. So you may be not pressured, tempted to entertain this person from the past and their, their message that will be coming across here. Okay, but I just be mindful of that. All right. All right, so what's crossing you is the King of Swords here. So it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And this has to do with decisions. This is your challenge. This makes sense. So I would, well, let's, let's clarify this. Maybe this is a Gemini, Libra, Pisces that's coming. Yeah, see, Ace of Moons. This is decisions surrounding love. So I feel like your challenge is really, yeah, seven of swords. Don't lie to yourself. Is You need to make this decision, especially from a past person, not with your heart, with your head, um, or at least from a balanced point of view, okay? Because the seven of swords here, I feel your challenge is noticing this person's mm, debauchery. That's what I just heard. What's the definition of, I mean, I, you know, I can feel, all right, four of swords. You've got to hold back information from this person, okay? Because I do feel that they have an ulterior motive. There's something they're not telling you. Well, obviously they're ulterior motive, but I feel like your challenge is, is going to be holding back communication about, because they're going to have questions. These questions could involve your personal life. And I feel that you may want to tell them some of this. And, and Spirit's wanting you to hold back here. Because I don't feel that they're up to any good. There is an ulterior motive here. Hmm. Family room. They're wanting you to fill in some holes. Like fill in 
Fill in the blanks for them. Fill in the blanks for them. I feel they're back for specific answers for a specific reason. And there's major manipulation here. I'm not sure what they're after, but it's, it's nothing any good anyway. So what's below you is the full card here. So in your subconscious, so this is you wanting to take a leap of faith or thinking about taking a leap of faith. Uh, here now this could be a new love this could be with this past person but i do feel it's more of just love in general you're wanting to, you're wanting a love relationship so let's clarify the pool yeah the knight of moons you're wanting to open up your heart to somebody you're very eager to do this there's a deep-seated desire to do this whether you're fully conscious of just how strong this desire is the queen of stars you're wanting to build your world the ten of swords you're wanting to put an end of being single of not having love in your life that's what i'm getting from that all right hmm false person so are you i feel like in the mm, you're hiding this desire it, you're keeping this from coming conscious. You're keeping this from yourself. I feel like you might be lying to yourself of just how much you want love in your life. That's what I feel from the false person. You're putting on a mask to yourself. All right, so what's above you? Oh, no, let's go to your recent past here. Your recent past is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So you're closing up a cycle. It may be a karmic cycle. You may be starting, I feel you're coming from who you were and stepping into who you are, if that makes any sense. You're wanting this fresh start, right? Not only in love, just in life. Mm, the high priestess yeah so you're keeping in the wheel of fortune the high priestess right it's your intuition is telling you to get excited about what's what's ahead for you and to close up what was and that may be why this person is coming back because if anything look to the positive of this situation Close up anything that needs to be closed with this person, right? But I wouldn't suggest moving forward in a love relationship. You can do what you want, but it, then they're done that. That's what I'm feeling. But watch that desire taking over because it's not really the person that you're wanting or desiring. In your subconscious, it's this desire for love, not for the person. And I feel if you're patient with the Wheel of Fortune, th this change is coming. Oh, isn't that interesting? I just realized that. And I'll tell you in a moment. So the High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you already know. This is what I'm saying. You're getting messages from uh, your higher self that something great is coming in, in a love situation, right? You're not saying this. Um, I don't feel that you're avoiding this information or blocking it like you are with this subconscious deep desire. I feel you know something is coming. You feel confident that something better is coming for you. Wealthy man, this could be you or somebody else. This could even be you knowing that uh, your career is going to flourish or your business, whatever it is that you do for a living, is going to flourish. You may be getting signs from the universe or your higher self. Now, what's funny is you have the high priestess also in your future coming up, but we're going to go to your conscious, okay? Ace of Cups. So yeah, you can't help but be in that heart space. So I feel 
what I feel in March, Pisces, is that you're going to be expressing your love uh, in different ways. You're not going to be able to help it because you have this deep-seated desire to love in a romantic way. You'll be loving your family. You'll be loving your plants. You'll be loving your environment. You'll be pouring your heart into, you know, if you're decorating your home, if you're even buying food at the grocery store, like everything is going to be very heart centered, which is great, right? It's going to feel very good to you, very natural because you are a water sign. So very interesting. Mm, two of swords. Hmm. The star. Okay. And the moon. Yeah, I was just feeling with the two of swords that you don't see this coming. I feel you don't see the love coming, the new love coming. Or at least what you're going to be feeling. And you don't see this person coming back from the past here with the moon card. All right. I do feel you've healed over this person. And you're confident in who you are. But you're trying to decide, do I want old love or new love? Or you will. Yeah, what do you want in stability, right? With the house card here. That's all about stability. How do you see your world in the future, right? You know it feels good. You know something's coming that is good, but is it your past? That's what you're going to have to decide. You need to use your intuition on that. And your intuition is going to be very much on point in March. All right. So you have the King of Cups. Let's see. Sorry, Pisces. Not the King of Cups yet. The High Priestess. So this is about your future, right? Um, yeah. All right. So... Yeah, you intuitively feel that your future is very much something to look forward to. So I do feel like your future dreams you're keeping to yourself. The Queen of Moons, which is the Queen of Cups, the Empress, Taurus Libra Energy, and the Five of Stars. Hmm. All right. So I do feel that there may be a Taurus or a Libra coming into your life with the Empress. Okay. They could be coming towards you with a love offer with a Queen of Moons then that you may keep secret. I'm also feeling... You may have this fear. Did this come up for you yesterday? This five of pentacles, I'm getting this fear of not being enough. And it's interesting because you are confident in yourself. But with the five of stars, I'm feeling this not being enough. Maybe you feel like you won't be enough. Let me clarify this. Tell me about the five of stars. Why is this here? Oh, the two of stars and the fool. You could have a fear of abandonment, right? You don't know if you want to take this leap of faith. With the two of stars, you're trying to make this decision. Perhaps this past person, okay, ghosted you, abandoned you, whatever. That may be something, a cycle that you need to close up, okay? Before you do take a leap into this love relationship. But this is very personal for you, so that's why I feel like you're going to keep it to yourself. Expectation. Yeah, I feel like, I don't feel like you're going to entertain this past person coming back because you're like, no, I, I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Okay, because I know what I'm waiting for is there. So I don't need to go back there as much as I desire uh, love in the present circumstance in the in the in my present now right all right so you have the king of cups this is how you're feeling now or will be feeling soon in the month of march 
so you're going to be in your element. Like I said, your, you know, your center card is the queen of cups. So you're going to be balanced within your masculine and feminine energies here. Temperance. I like seeing this because you're going to have patience and waiting for quote unquote, the one. Yeah. The hanged man. So you're also going to be looking at love from different perspectives. This is your balance. You're very much focused on balancing the body, mind, and spirit, as well as your masculine and feminine. And you will be looking at love from different perspectives and imagining, creating what it is that you want. And you are a magical manifestor, Pisces. And that's what you're going to be focusing on. Really feeling and dreaming about what it is that you desire in love. Occupation. Hmm. Tell me about this. You may meet somebody at work. Despair. What is this about? Are you worried about? work mature man okay all right so there may be an age difference between you and this individual and for some of you it's somebody you work with and you may be worried about this can i can i have a relationship with somebody that i work with let me get whoops i want to get clarification on this why is occupation here the magician. Yeah. Can we manifest something that's solid with somebody that I work with? Whether this be in the same field or in the same place. In this, If you work in the same building, I, you can look at this very much a lot of ways. Yeah, see? The Ten of Wands. This is weighing heavy on you here. But why so? And Three of Stars, which is work, right? Can we build something? Can we build something? Or is work going to get in the way? Maybe you feel uh, this could also be, do I have enough time for love? Maybe you're worried about that or you will be worried about that. And you absolutely are ready for it because I, I feel like this came up recently this week. I do readings every day and I feel like... um. I feel like that came up for you a couple of days ago, if not yesterday. All right, so your next card, your external influences is the death. So scorpionic energy. So transformation. I feel that a lot of things around you, people, places, things are transforming. Eight of Swords, the Full Moon, hmm, and the Eight of Wands. Wow. Even, you know, you yourself can be transforming, but I really feel like I feel like there may be somebody external to you that you don't see that's interested in you and very has a lot of passion for you. This may be illuminated to you around the full moon, but the eight of swords is self-imprisonment. So you can see this if you choose to. Yeah. The ten of stars, ten of pentacles. I feel like you already know and you're blinding yourself to it. It's almost, it's like this mask that you're putting on, right, to yourself. In your subconscious that's the feeling that i get i'm hearing too good to be true maybe you're you're thinking that but that's not like you pisces maybe you have um i don't know i feel a skepticism about this right can can it really be that easy can i be happy can i settle down can i commit can it feel like this with the eight of wands but you will be illuminated here because things are about to transform in your life and you're already seeing evidence of that or you will be in march see and you're concerned you're concerned you may have fixed energy in your chart where you're like 
things are changing quickly. I don't know, but I feel this concern about is it too good to be true? No, it's not. They just said, no, it's not. Okay, so your hopes and fears, uh, you gotta love your hopes and fears, right? The Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, victory. You're afraid that this is true that this this is not too good to be true that it is true you can be happy and passionate and all that jazz and you can have clarity and be very clear about what you want who you want okay but at the same time you fear it because it could all come down to again that that five of uh pentacles not knowing if what you have to offer is good enough do you have enough time do you have you know i feel like the five of pentacles there is is more i want to give but can i because of work and life and balance right but there's where communication comes in that's all i feel like that's that's the um primary reason i feel that exists in a lot of relationships communication uh nine of moons and ace of swords again clarifying the ace of swords clarity victory and that your wish is coming true you you fear your wish is coming true don't we all though we fear that our greatest wish is our worst nightmare <laughs> or can be our worst nightmare isn't that strange so the new moon yeah you fear this new beginning that things will change and things will be new but you don't know what you don't know so who's going to be your main squeeze this is going to be it's your greatest hope and your greatest fear Try not to overthink it. And again, communication. So tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Either communication with somebody that you may be involved with or just let it out through journaling, through blogging, um, you know, just for yourself. Let it out. You never know. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, this is the most likely outcome here in the near future. Huh. So you've got great opportunities being presented to you. Whether or not you take them is up to you, but it's what you've been waiting for. It's the next leg in your journey here. I feel a whole new beginning um, be, becoming available to you. So you have the world. That's what I mean, a whole new beginning. And death transformation that's awesome Pisces all right so advice oh not advice Kipper for this outcome toil and labor keep working at it keep moving forward here Pisces okay let me get another one here yeah distant horizons what you've been waiting for is about to show up don't fear it embrace it embrace the unknown all right because a lot of good shit is coming at you i'm gonna get you let's see hmm all right let me get you an advice card and then i'm going to get you a couple of crystals to see which crystals will serve you best in march so advice card for pisces advice for pisces what advice do we have for pisces regarding march so we have overwhelm The hard work we love can leave us feeling burdened, drained, and burnt out, among other problems. So use your intuition when it comes to work and overworking, potentially overworking, okay? 
and we have growth. Feel open, willing, and proud of your desire to explore new opportunities for self-development. And that is a 19, which is a 10, and 10s are all about new beginnings, right? So be open to trying new things, okay? And developing yourself, body, mind, and spirit. All right, so what crystal will serve you best in the month of March? Which crystal will serve Pisces best in the month of March regarding this spread? Which crystal will serve Pisces best? Moldavite, <laughs> Star Child. Now that's one strong ass stone here, Pisces. So just saying if you want your world to change get some moldavite all right so pisces i hope this resonates please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below make sure that you're utilizing that link in the description box pisces if you are interested as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize lives forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous month of March and happy birthday once again. And I will catch you on the flip side on my dailies. Namaste.